how to clean a muzzle brake today on Precision Rifle Network. You didn't know you were supposed to clean your muzzle brake? Welcome to the club. I didn't know for probably the first couple of years uh, that I was doing this precision rifle stuff. I didn't know that it degraded accuracy over time. I did learn it the hard way. It started really pushing my shots all around and couldn't figure it out until finally some pro jumped in and gave me the tip, like I'm giving you the tip today, that you need to clean your muzzle brake. Well, how often should you do that? Well, you should do it about as often as you clean your barrel. Well, how often is that? Well, when accuracy starts to degrade. Well, when is that, right? These are the questions, and if you're new to this, you may not know the answers, and so that is the point of today's video. So for me, accuracy tends to degrade uh, somewhere between three and 500 rounds. And so when I start to notice that happening, I clean my barrel and I go ahead and I clean the muzzle brake at that point as well. There's a lot of ways to skin this cat when it comes to cleaning the muzzle brake. I'm just gonna show you my method of doing it today. So let's get into this video. All right guys, so the first order of business is to go ahead and remove your other muzzle brake. Now if you've got one of these that's a nice self-timing like the Area 419, or Area 419, they get pissed when you say that. Or worse yet, 419, they get really upset with that. If you've got one of these brakes, uh, you, you can just easily um, you know, spin that off of there. And then uh, we just need to break the, uh, the, the muzzle brake loose and we'll take her off. The brake is uh, in need of cleaning, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. All right guys, so here is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need yourself a glass. Don't tell my wife I'm using one of the nice kitchen cups. Uh, you're gonna need your brake. I recommend and like the Lemeshine. It's just your basic like dishes. Um, detergent or whatever, but it kind of works really well. It's just a soap, right? It's like a powdered soap, but it tends to bubble up and and uh, really work well to uh, to get a bunch of the junk off. So we're going to go ahead and get some of your finest H2O you can find, and we're going to fill this glass probably three quarters of the way full. We're going to go ahead and get our Lemmy Shine put in here. Now this is like, I don't know, a bunch it's more than a little and less than a lot. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to tell you, it's just a bunch. So I just pour a bunch in. Don't overflow your cup. And then we're gonna go ahead and just stir this guy up a bit. And we're gonna drop our brake in, not too hard. Again, wife's good cup. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. It's already bubbling and working. Let me see if I can get closer for you guys. See that? She's working pretty good. Already bubbling and moving a bunch of that junk off. You can see those black specks just pulling it right off of that brake. So I'm going to leave that for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to pull it out, and we're going to scrub it. Hey, Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. Okay guys, so we waited our 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the water. And as you can see, man, look at all that stuff just floating around in there. That is a lot of junk. I'm just gonna kind of rinse it off, a little bit more in there. Then what I like to do is I take my, my old toothbrush and I just start scrubbing it just to make sure we kind of got all the junk off. Rinse regularly. I wanna get into these ports here That toothbrush started off somewhat white and it's just pulling that stuff off. The outside is really clean already just from being in the solution. Now I'm doing an abbreviated version of this for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch the entire video, but you're getting the idea. You just want to get down in all these spots. Rinse it out really well. I like to take some Q-tips and just start wiping out in here because you'll find that this stuff is like just paste on there now. You can see that that black nastiness there. It's just, it's just kind of like pasty. It's loose on the inside of the brake and it'll come right off when you wipe it. And when you've got it as clean as you like, guys, uh, I don't go nuts on this. I'm just pretty convinced I'm never gonna get it back to the condition that it was in when it was brand new. 
but I put a little bit of work into it, probably, um, you know, 10 minutes worth of scrubbing additionally and just rinsing in the water. Uh, a tip that I didn't mention before, make sure you go ahead and clean off uh, the adapter piece that goes onto the front of your muzzle and even around uh, the crown of your muzzle. Don't go scraping and digging around on the crown of your barrel with a screwdriver or a pick or something like that. I, I don't know why I need to throw that out there, but sometimes common sense is not so common anymore. Uh, you don't want to damage the crown of your barrel. So uh, once you get it all clean and completely dry to your liking, go ahead and reinstall on the rifle. All right, you want to reinstall your brake and make sure your rifle is somewhat level and you do have to time these brakes. And by timing, I guess your little pro tip of the day is you want to make sure that the ports are kind of, you know, evenly dispersing out to the sides. You don't want your brake kind of canted off. The ports kind of rotated one, you know, like one o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever it is. You want them straight up and down uh, with the <clears throat> in line of your rifle. I try to give it just a little bit of a maybe 1130 offset. And then when I crank it all down, it ends up turning kind of right into place where we want it. Great thing about the Area 419 brakes is that you can hand tighten these down. They are properly timed and they're not going to go anywhere. And, uh, you know, just something you want to check occasionally after every, oh, I don't know, a uh, handful of magazines of ammo. Just make sure your brake is, is staying where it's supposed to be. But uh, a really great, a really great product and, uh, you know, easy to work with. All right, guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that little tip on how to clean a muzzle brake. Uh, leave me some comments below with um, your preferred method of cleaning or if you have a better cleaning product than the Lemma Shine or if you've tried the Lemma Shine and you're calling BS because you don't think it works, you go ahead and leave me those comments because I always respond to you guys, whether positive or negative. Depending on my mood each day, you might get a snarky comment back or you might find some grace. I don't know. Either way, you just never know what you're going to get. Guys, watch some more videos while you're here. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. What am I doing? Tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network. That's what I'm supposed to say.